new reading week. I've got my reused Dunkin' cup with my own mixture of poison, aka caffeine. Oh my goodness. So I'm still reading. I just started Dark Harmony, which is the third book in the Bargainer series by Laura Thalassa. And I love Dez. I love me some Dez. He's, he's, he's good. Um, he's good character. Uh, I've got that one. That's a reread. And that's my physical copy for the current period. I unwrapped that one. Then I have Mother of Death and Dawn by Carissa Broadman is my audiobook. And I'm sorry, she's so talkative. So Mother of Death and Dawn is my audiobook. And I like those two books, like I I make slower progress on them just because it's physical and ebook, or I'm sorry, physical and audiobook, which the physical book I read before bed um, because obviously my hands are pretty full. And the audiobook I really listen to in the car when I'm by myself uh, driving somewhere and then when I'm walking the dog. So I do, I make progress on them, but it's a little bit slower than like normal. And then I have Lady of Darkness by um, Melissa Rorick. And so I, I've gotten so many comments that this book is very similar to the book that I've written, which is The Curse of Broken Shadows. And it's really funny because like these two books were like released at like around the same time. So it's just really funny to see that like this, a very similar aspect of it. So, you know, we have an assassin who's kind of owned by the assassin Lord. And, you know, in my book, I have Brayla who is technically, you know, still has a debt to pay um, to her assassin lord. And so it's it's just kind of interesting. I've just started it, so I don't quite know a whole lot about what's going on, but I definitely see a lot of like similarities and I've heard it's spicy, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, the writing, I it's a little bit, there's been a lot of head hopping in this, in this Lady of Darkness book. It's, it's very subtle. Um, it's, and it has a lot to do with sentence structure. So how you, you know, phrase a sentence or write a sentence can like indicate who is essentially making the assumption or, you know, making the observation, things like that. And so there's a lot of ways that, that, that I've gotten caught up in this, in the writing of this book, that's not my favorite. Um, so yeah, again, like a little bit of, it feels head hoppy. There's a lot of things where you're like, how did this happen? Um, the name of a character was revealed before, like they mentioned the name, this character knowing somebody's name before that information was revealed to us. And so I've seen a lot of like little, little glurry things that they kind of frustrate me, but at the same time, it's been decent. I, I feel like there are a lot of huge chunks of information missing and it like, it's either been skipped over or, you know, just the way that the information has been revealed. I feel like we're missing a lot of stuff and I'm going to keep going with it. I, <laughs> I think, uh, it has some potential. Um, I'm interested to see it. Uh, but there have been a couple of writing choices that I personally don't like, um, as a reader, not necessarily as a writer. I totally understand why they made those choices, but, uh, there are just a few little things that, that are kind of not, not my top choice, um, in, in what I would normally read, but, uh, fingers crossed. I know it's a... I think it's a five book series. And so I am actually looking forward to it. It, it looks like it's going to have a lot of um, really good things coming up, but I'm not quite there yet. And so I'm waiting for those things to come up. And so right now it's, it's not a chore to read, but it's definitely not going as fast as like my normal ebook reads go. So um, I'm hoping that one turns around, but that's what I've got this week. I got a bunch of stuff. I'm like, I'm trying not to stab myself. 
so excited for this. I'm like, I went on like an Etsy spree, which like dangerous. Etsy's very dangerous for me. Um, I like want all of the things. And so um, the first one, this is going to be dangerous, not only because um, Violet does not like me in hats. So uh, uh, we're going to be in trouble here, but I got myself a little rider cap and I'm not going to try to fix my hair before I actually like try that on. But I'm really excited about that because, you know, I could show off. I like showing off things like it's a lot of fun. Okay. This is like, I believe that. Yeah, this is like my next favorite thing. Um, this might be like my favorite uh, design of all times. So you guys know that my favorite, my favorite, favorite series in the world is the War of Lost Hearts. Um, I'm not made for this is Max Antarius's like favorite line. And I'm not made for this, but this is going to be like potentially my favorite shirt of all time. Um, absolutely love that. Super excited about that. Hi, Violet. She finally decided to come in. And now here's for the fun big package. I'm like, so I'm changing like my wardrobe. And so like I've been getting rid of a bunch of stuff. And so like I also need a lot of stuff because like I still need like I've had like a lot of like maternity and nursing stuff and so like I'm kind of like now that my body has changed and stuff like that I'm trying to like fit something that I enjoy and do something that I like and like just kind of change up my style since now I'm a mom and so it's um it's definitely not mom style I wear mom jeans all the time that's like that's not new um but okay so this is emotionally attached to fictional characters is like I live in sweatshirts um I know it's like the summer and everything and like it's hot and all sorts of shit but um that's gonna be uh my one of my favorite like it's gonna be like my writing sweatshirt which of course so will this um I'm like super excited like massive swimming easy to nurse in and really cozy because I need I need cozy in my life and finally <laughs> I I'm so annoyed because like okay number one I love this I got Violet a onesie that said strong female lead as well and that was like how we announced her um existence uh that's how we announced my pregnancy with a onesie like that and now I can't find that onesie and I know that like she's at the like I'm pretty sure when I bought it, it was a 12 month and she's like no longer in 12 months. So even if I were to find it now, she can't wear it. And so I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but that is my clothing haul. <laughs> That's my uh, new writing haul and new fun stuff haul. So I'm really excited about this.